So just find yourself in any comfortable position. In a place where you can just relax your body, where your body feels relaxed. And if it helps you, you can just take three or four deeper than normal breaths into the body, right down into the belly area. And just feel your shoulders relaxing, your neck relaxing. And just get a sense of just putting everything else aside and just spending the next 20 or 30 minutes together in this guided exploration. So as you allow the breath to return to its normal breathing rate, just follow that for a couple of breaths. And just begin to allow that to lead you inwards. And as you bring the attention inside the body, just get a sense of how you're feeling, what is present for you. And just get a feeling of just acknowledging and recognizing what is present for you. And you don't need to think about this, more just feel this. Just feel what is naturally present. And as you begin to feel what is present, just allow those feelings that are present, just allow them to be completely as they are, without trying to change them in any way. Just bring absolute acceptance to your inner world. It's almost like you're just opening to yourself 
without identifying in any particular place. You're just allowing the stillness to embrace you. And as you come deeper into yourself, you may sense certain aspects of your internal world that need to be fully embraced and fully open to. Especially if you can sense the inner child in you. You can reassure him or her that she is safe, that she is welcome. So you're including all parts of yourself. You're including them all, but you're not getting lost in identifying with them. Even the mind, the mind can be there, but you are not identified with your mind. It's just another aspect of manifest consciousness. So if you don't grasp at any of the moving parts, if you don't pick up any of the moving parts, then what begins to reveal itself is a sacred stillness. A natural a sense of inner silence. a naked presence. You can feel this presence as an energetic vibration in the heart. It may be subtle at first, but the more you're able to recognize it and notice it, then its power will increase. Its strength will develop. the more you are able to be one with it, it will begin to lead you. It will begin to replace you.
this presence, it is completely unconditioned. which means it has not been affected by your past. It sees things with clarity. Its essence is a very deep peace. In biblical terms, it is to know the peace of God that passes all understanding. It is beyond the thinking mind. More simple than philosophy. Its invitation is for you to be still inside it. so that you become more familiar with it. So that whenever you are resting, you just take a moment and again, acknowledge your own presence, your own beingness. It has no nationality, no gender, no date of birth, yet it is fully here. Be one with this sacred presence. Come to that place inside yourself where you are fully awake, you are fully alert, but you are not thinking. Or well, even if thought is there, it is no, of no concern to you. This is the natural state.
It is without information, but it is not stupid. And any time you feel yourself getting lost in thinking, lost in identification, then again, just bring yourself back. Just gently bring yourself back. Do all of this with just natural gentleness. Don't be hard on yourself. The ego would love that. Just be gentle. Allow your sensitivity. Allow your vulnerability but don't get lost there. Come to that place where you are effortlessly resting in yourself.
In a couple of moments, there will be a bell. And the bell will bring the meditation to an end. But something will remain the same inside you. Inside meditation or outside meditation doesn't affect that. So when we come out of the meditation in a few moments, I want you to stay consciously present in your own being. And we may have the opportunity for a short sharing afterwards. <laughs> 